So joining us to talk about this are Mimi Brown. She's a local author and hey. motivational speaker. Hi, Mimi. Hello there. Lauren Cracker, who is part of the team at the Blaine Fowler Morning Show on 96.3 WDVT. Hello. And Tasha Lord, a local singer and musician. And uh, she's here, and you guys looking so festive. I know. Feeling holly jolly. Yeah. <laughs> <It's a magic laughs> holly jolly. I know. Yeah. I know. Yes. Well, don't forget, you guys can give us your thoughts on some of the topics that we're going to discuss on our Live in the D Facebook page, and we'll try to share some of them later. But let's get right into it. So, do you help your neighbors with cleaning off their snow, like driveways, sidewalks? They're like. <laughs> Yeah, Mimi's <laughs> shaking her head. Because I believe in reciprocity. So okay. reciprocity, give to get. And you should be the first one to give because then it kind of leaves your neighbors obligated to help you. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Karma, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. I can say yes because usually my husband does it. So <laughs> there you go. Yes, love it. Go for it. Yeah, my husband <laughs> should always help our neighbor. Our, we only have one neighbor on our little block, so it's pretty easy. We always like help each other with the, with the, with the sidewalk that we share. Right. Um, yeah. So you gotta help out. I think it's sweet, and I think it is about reciprocity, maybe. Yeah. Because there's gonna yeah. be a time where maybe you can't make it, maybe you're not feeling well. Yeah. Yeah. My parents did that, so they have a set of neighbors that are all four in a row, and they all do each other's like lawns oh. and snow. That's cute. And when someone had surgery or they're working hard, yes. they come and help, and you feel yeah. it makes you feel good. We're on yeah. vacation. Yeah. Yeah, vacation's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You don't want to come home to a giant snow. Pile. Yes. Well, speaking of snow piles, what about if you're plowing the snow and then you put accidentally put a pile of snow on? They your don't do it accidentally. Or <laughs> a pile of snow on your neighbor's uh, sidewalk or driveway or something like that—is that acceptable? Disrespectful. Thank you. Yeah. Disrespectful. Because then, you. like you said, reciprocity. It's going to come right back to you <laughs> when they're doing their driveway. <laughs> I think it is so rude. I'll just put it out there. I couldn't hold that any longer. Yeah. yeah. Well, I live good. on a corner house, and so we get the snow, and the snow plow comes through, mm -hmm. and this big bank of snow, and it ticks me off. And I don't even shovel. It's I know. Brown shovel. <laughs> yeah. 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 And if you live in an area where you have to park on the street, like I live downtown, and they do it in your parking spot, yes. I swear people do it on purpose yes. so that they can get the spot. I think so too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, do it's you terrible. say something? How do you I'm catch them? Aggressive. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if I catch them, yeah. It keeps happening. You just go to door to door, like, are you doing this? <laughs> no, I think that's the hard part. How do you catch them? Yeah. Yeah, they're doing the middle of the night. Sneaky. <laughs> All right, so people have different schedules every day, and that means snow impacts them differently. Like, you get up super early, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> Depending on um, when they have to get on the road, right? So is there a time when it's appropriate to use a snowblower? Or not appropriate. Right. Do you think? I think you, nobody likes to do it. We all hate to do it. There's, there, I think you just got to do it when you got to do it. You just got to take care of business when you have to. And we all have to deal with it when we have to do I it. I disagree. Like, yeah. there are certain hours where I should not hear your snowblower. If it's 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm going <laughs> to need you to wait till at least till 6. But here's the thing. She wow. leaves the house at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh. She has to shovel. <laughs> She's hiring somebody. I don't know. <laughs> I have to go to work. But so you literally can't get yeah. out yeah, of your... Okay. You just got to do what you got to do. I've I mean, been awoken by a snowblower. snowblower. Yeah, I and I was not happy. Right. Oh, we all okay. gotta just get through the season the way we gotta get through it, I think. You're so yeah. nice. I'm like the evil yeah. one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's bring in our Michelle yeah. Oliver to hear what people are saying about this on social media. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Now, I'll say some people definitely agree with you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 a lot of people said what Stuart said, which is midnight to 6 a.m. is a no-go. No Don't snow do it. Blow. No Go. snow blowing during that time. <laughs> um, Melissa, on the other hand, took the more Tasha approach and said try to be considerate to neighbors but sometimes you work different shifts and have to get it done or it's a large snowfall and sometimes it has to be done several times yeah that's, that's so, true it, it's so difficult because it it really does vary yeah yeah um, we also have Ronald which says yes when it snows so light that a nice sweeping of the broom will take care of the walks so have you ever had someone like snow blow when you're like it's yeah. not even an inch. Agree with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way too extreme. Yeah. 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 I mean, we have to understand for our neighbors. Okay, let's get to the to the final yeah. question. When it comes to snow on your car, do you clean it completely off or just the windows? Completely. Oh, you clean it completely. Oh, completely. So oh that is disrespectful oh, for the I'm second so time. Well, and dangerous. Yeah. Tasha. I know. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> what if you just do one side? 
behind you. No, because then I have to be behind you and I get like the avalanche of smoke oh, yeah. in my yeah. window. Yeah, right when you get on 75. And I'm and like, like, oh, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> so wrong. You get an automatic car starter. No. You get one of those sweepy things that does it with the battery. Yeah. Tasha. I mostly do I mostly do my whole car, but I'm, I am that once in a while. I'm just like, I'm so sorry, guys. Yes. Just, that is you won't make eye contact. Uh, what about for? when you have like frost over your windshield and you're like, I just scrape up this little hole here. I can't yeah, yeah. I'm not driving. I haven't done that. I mean, I think like everyone's that. done that on occasion. You know, I was like, that's not a thing. That's yeah. not a thing. Okay. My it's bad. illegal. A lady got a ticket for that. Like she not, was, not yeah. just, I mean, like the, the scrapey thing. Oh. The frost. The frost. I've, oh, I've never done it. I've just seen, I know. Uh, oh, she's like, she you knows. You just know people. <laughs> yeah. You just know people. Uh, <laughs> ladies, thank you so much yeah. for joining thank us. Thank you. For what's the buzz.